episode in the series, and today we'll be covering Earth and its unique strategies and combos. So the first thing to do, uh, we'll just do what we always do, where we just quickly speak about the summoners and like how the developers intended for the summoners to be used, and how it plays out. So for the first time since we did the series, when you look at fire for example, they intended fire to be melee damage and then the legendary was an improved melee damage. They intended water to be magic damage and then a improved magic damage. And then obviously the dice and the untamed changed how water and fire get played. But if you look at how the beta summoners are, what it should have been is plus one archer damage and then a better plus one archer damage. But we see that they didn't. They decided not to do that. And it could be that either that they thought that the arch damage would just be too strong, definitely in Bronze League and below, or that they thought save it for the dragons, which they already did. Um, so this is the first time that they changed path. And yeah, the way that it resulted is roughly Earth being a little bit more slow and a lot more tanky and durable which lines up with its cards and then Prince Rene basically just kept that tankiness with the plus one HP but then just gave it a more direct route with the plus one archers so in beta it was intended to be a little bit more tanky and then plus one archer just for the luxury Prince Rene is one of the best legendaries in the game probably second best in terms of beta and then what happened is Untamed came out and they released this garbage uh, summoner, to be honest. Uh, like, giving 1 HP to all your minions guarantees X amount of HP, but minus 2 armor does not always guarantee uh, everyone gets minus armor, unless it's like protect or something like that. And even then, plus minus 2 is not that strong. I think even like the fire legendary that does pierce is better than negative two but that's my opinion and then llama basically came out and llama was an improvement of the beta summoner and basically just giving an extra plus one giving last stand and giving cleanse it just reinforced that beta that earth should be this big healing like rampaging motherfucker basically and yeah, Llama basically broke the game and created the combos Llama plus Kron, Llama plus Fest Golem, Llama plus Hydra, basically giving last stand to any minion with heal and then also giving it cleanse so that the heal always goes through, breaks the game. And yeah, Llama basically, like I think a Llama Kron is the strongest combo in the game in beta like i think in beta i mean i think in bronze if you play llama plus cron at like 17 mana there's very few things that can beat it if not i think i could honestly say it's unbeatable uh xander's pretty standard i will say though this is the first time when compared to the water and the fire that a level 2 summoner is not as viable as water and fire purely because in most situations, giving that plus one HP for one extra mana is worth it. Water, for example, it's less worth it because if there's a game where there's no magic, you definitely want to play your Sea Chan because then you save that one extra mana. But in most cases, you always will want that plus one uh, HP. So in terms of ranking, I would rank, uh, I would rank Llama number one, uh, Crowling number two. Thorns just basically breaks the game, especially in bronze or silver and below. If you're new to this game, I did recommend a Crowling, and it's still it's the most expensive dice summoner for a reason. It's two dollars. It's nearly as much as a beta summoner. It's three times more expensive as this crappy untamed one, and it's that expensive for a reason. So even though untamed packs are sold out, and dice packs are still available. Crowling is this expensive and it's because she's that strong because thorns basically give it that if any melee minion attacks your minion they take negative two damage and when you're playing in bronze league and below there's very few minions that do more than two damage and yeah thorns basically break the game so llama is number one crowling is number two 
Prince Rene is number three, but if you're in Gold League and above, I would argue that Prince Rene would then take over and either become number one or number two. Uh, number three, I will then put Lyanna. Then I'll drop in Xander, and then last but not least, the Wizard of the Eastwood. So that's how I rank the summoners. Let me know how you rank them. And now we're going to go on to the different minions and which ones you should look out for. Okay, so the first thing that you just need to know is how this deck is played. So when compared to water or fire, and you were to look at, for example, healing cards in water, you'll get water elemental, you'll get a creation king, you'll get uh, this one more sea monster, and you'll get a sea monster. So there's three minions that heal in water. If you were to go to Earth and compare that, a Khmer Princess in Silver League gets heal or gets tank heal. So it is a better version of the Wood Nymph, which costs four mana. The difference is Wood Nymph can be used in Bronze League and below. And Khmer Princess, you need it to be in Silver League and above, but it still does the same job for half the mana. It gives you a little bit of magic damage, very slow attack, and decent HP. So Khmer Princess is number one, Wood Nymph is number two. Uh, Earth Elemental eventually gets self-heal, Flesh Golem gets self-heal, Kron gets has heal, and Spread of the Forest gets team heal. So obviously it depends on what level they are, but you've still got one, two, three, four, five six minions with heal way more than the three in water i don't even think there's nearly that much in fire i think in fire i can only think of the hellhound and yeah so you can already tell that like earth plays into that healing tanky uh but when i say tanky i mean like physically hp tanky not armor tanky armor tanky would be more like life so with the healing tankiness and vibe your front line should always be something big minotaur warlord is okay but magic reflect is not that strong early on the best thing in this game is a flesh golem but you need it to get him to level three or higher because once he hits level three he gets the, the heal uh, preferably get him at level four or more because then he'll get one extra damage and that's very important uh, ideally a level five for silver because then he gets that one extra hp which actually will make a bigger difference than you think and later on he gets void and that's also very good because the higher you get into this game the more magic damage becomes a problem so i would say if you're playing let's say silver league and below in terms of the legendaries ignore spirit of the forest because spirit of the forest only gets better the higher level she is you definitely want to get yourself a Kron. You definitely want to get yourself an oaken behemoth for those 99 mana games you definitely want to get yourself a flesh golem with as many levels as it can. A, uh, a Druid Grog is basically good, but it's only viable for Equalizer. And then she gets the Resurrect plus li uh, Life Leech, which is very cool. Brownie is very good and very expensive, but it's better at higher levels. Uh, the Headhunter is super strong, super high amounts of damage, very good in Earth. Uh, other two cards that are very cool are the Sporcerer as well as the Iron Hand. Rexy is a very pretty card and very iconic card, but honestly it's not a very good card. Good damage, but decent speed and then very shitty HP if you were to compare that to a Flesh Golem. This is the first time where the beta tanks, in terms of like the traditional 5 HP tanks, uh, the Stone Golem is really shit, Rexy is really bad. The Flesh Golem is what carries it, but like Stone Split Orc, Flesh Golem, and Rexy are really subpar when compared to the untamed versions like Unicorn Mustang, Nectar Queen, and Oaken Behemoth. I think those are much better tanks in this game for the roles they play. But Flesh Golem's where it's at. Goblin Thief, very strong, basically a new version of uh, well definitely more expensive but a good version of the cobalt miner from fire like you want it at level four so it's got three hp the high level you get it eventually gets shatter 
and you can combine it to basically work very well with your like sandworm so i normally if i'm playing like sneak i normally go goblin thief plus sandworm so he takes out the first shield and then the sandworm takes them out like that those two combo together destroy enemy backlines if you can get your Khmer princess to i think level four you get your tank heal very very strong card in that case uh, mushroom she is nice but not 100 percent necessary uh, a card i actually really like is magi of the forest and that's purely because of equalizer games and she gets very very high damage if you can get a level three one you can get it's very very good for also little minions you got a three magic damage epic card very very good and yeah i think that covers oh uh just to end things off uh with cron like if you can get him to level three in gold league and above like the last stand is really good but you don't hide it if you're going to play the cron plus llama combo and finally if you're playing gold league and above this is the best card of earth it, it basically changes earth all by itself and the way it does that is at level three it gets protect so not only do you have what i will call the best hp tanks in the game you also get protect which is something that all of these monsters lack which is armor there's very few earth monsters that have armor such as if you play flesh golem if you play cron if you were to play spirit of the forest a minotaur warlord your sorcerer your iron hand your unicorn mustang like all of the common earth cards that you would use like there are cards obviously like this is obviously for little minions um your stone golem but these are really shit tanks that have armor already and it basically helps just add a huge layer of protection to your already very impressive tanky lineup so i would say my number one card for silver and below would be like Kron, Llama, Flesh Golem. Those are the iconic carries of l like the low level leagues. But I think if you're going to go into gold and above, you definitely want to. The MVP card of the day is the Spirit of the Forest. So definitely look into getting those. Gold level and above, the other minion apart from Spirit of the Forest that's super, super strong and everyone should look into and should get is the Failed Summoner. And there's a reason for that. And the reason the failed summoner is so expensive is if you look at its stats, at level 1 it's pretty shit. It's just a level 2 that has 4 HP and magic reflect. But the higher you get this guy, once you start playing in like gold and above, it's a 2 mana 9 HP tank that has magic reflect and demoralize. It is insane how strong this card is by itself for what it gives you for two mana. I would say it's the best two mana gold league and above card. And yeah, those are the highlighted minions. And now I'm going to play some games and show you some strategies. Okay, so this is a classic example of a Earth vs. Earth game. It's just a standard game mode. I've got a frontline tank, and then I put a archer with close range, and then just a whole bunch of archers. And then the main combo is the Prince Rene, as well as the big flesh golem, and then the spread of the forest. So she will give the team heal plus protect to the whole team. And even though they've got some magic damage and a team heal there, there's no way this team will lose. Like, almost guarantee it. So if we skip, we win. Uh, I will say that we have a level advantage, and that makes me feel a little bit bad, but it is what it is. Okay, we are in a 13 mana game, and we are playing in Gold League, but I've got a level 1 Llama, so therefore my common is only limited to level 3, and I'm fighting a level 3 rare and a level 4 rare, so he must have at least a level 4 or more summoner, and... We're trying to see whether or not 5 damage can... No, we heal 5 damage, so there's nothing they can do. This is pretty much a tied game, because he's going to keep healing. So, I'm going to save you guys some time, and I'm just going to fast forward. 
and we win. And that would have been because of missed chances and stuff like that. But that's what I'm saying. Even in Gold League, with Bronze League material, you're able to sustain yourself and keep fighting. And that's how strong a Llama Flesh Golem is. So please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And if you're a new player, please use the promo code and I'll happily send you the 0.5 US dollars back to you. It just lets me know that people are watching and using the promo and I'm helping new players join the community. Also, if you find me on the Discord, just pop me a message. I'll happily delegate any of the new players some power 